Hello smart home makers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Home Assistant and large language models. Assist has been Home Assistant's new way of allowing us to interact with our voice but also with our smart home gadgets directly. So by combining the power of large language model we can do much more than simply asking our home to turn on a light. Let's quickly define what a large language model is. Large language models are computer programs that have been fed a bunch of and a ton of examples and context. And thanks to that, they're able to recognize and understand humans, human language and their intent. But how does that apply to smart homes? Now I'm gonna show you a quick diagram that's going to explain this all. Let's go through an example with a voice assistant. This could be any voice assistant. So if you have a voice assistant in your home, you're most likely using basic language and basic commands to communicate with such device. So for example, if you wanted to turn on lights in a kitchen, you would simply say wake word, whichever that one is for the specific device, and you will go and say turn on the lights in the kitchen. And if you've configured your names correctly, then and you've created an area maybe called kitchen, then that will work for you. And the same in the reverse scenario if you're turning them off. How then AI is going to help with that type of conversation? AI is going to try and make the conversation sound a bit more natural or letting the voice assistant try to interpret really what you're trying to say. So an example that I've got in this box over here where I might tell my assistant, look, I'm hungry, I'm going to cook something and that's going to perhaps trigger the kitchen lights turning on and maybe the oven turning on, we don't know, right? It will really depend. So, so in Home Assistant, you have three main pillars and main concepts you need to understand. We'll start from the bottom because this is what you need to have integrated first. So you need your entities. So these are your smart home gadgets, your smart home devices, and you need to have them exposed or basically enabled so that a voice assistant or assist in this example can actually interact with them. So your devices, uh, need to be connected via integrations, then you'll have entities to control. So as an example, the, an entity could be a single kitchen light that exists in the kitchen. Assist is the brain power that enables you to control entities that are exposed and you can do that through the user interface in Home Assistant or you can do it via a voice assistant. So intent is the part, it's basically the part that helps translate someone's words, basically helps translate the words into an action. So normally if you need to turn on a light, you would do something called, you will call a service in Home Assistant called lights.turnon for example, and that will turn on, that will trigger a service that will turn on a light. The intent is basically translating the words that we um, are basically typing in or the words that the system is uh, recording or listening to via our voice, then that's, the, that's what the intent system is doing. So by having a sort of large language model um, integrated into the system, this will allow us really to have these extra and additional conversations. If you're finding this video interesting, give this a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm considering doing a complete tutorial around setting up a voice assistant from scratch using Home Assistant's latest technologies. Let me know if you're interested in that in the comment section down below. But let me just give you some quick pros and cons and some thoughts that I had when I was reading this news and a little bit of my reaction to this. I fundamentally think that having a more natural conversation with an assistant really opens up a lot of opportunities and a lot of easier ways. Uh, to control your home. However, I am concerned that losing a bit of control and the control is moving away from specific actions and moving really to artificial intelligence. So I'll give you an example. When I need to give a command to my voice assistant, I need to be very deliberate in telling it specifically what I want to happen. In that way, the result normally is that I didn't understand what I said, so nothing happened, which 
it's not desirable, but it's not the end of the world. But certainly nothing happened that I didn't uh, expect it to do. And that's the whole part of this AI uh, integration is that things might actually happen in the home that you didn't quite expect to happen. So there are quite cool examples online and on the Home Assistant blog, which I'll link in the description down below, um, where you actually see uh, like um, someone saying that they need to walk, stand up a bit, and the desk raises and all, all sorts of things happen. So once that, if that's in a controlled manner and it's in a controlled environment and you know exactly what's gonna happen when you say something, then I feel that's quite great. My only concern is that if something happens that we didn't expect, then especially if you're having guests or other people outside of the smart home administrator or the person creating the smart home, talking to the uh, device and things happening that we didn't quite expect. That's my concern, but I'm willing to give it a go, get it all set up, test it out, give my full broad experience. But Hopefully this video was useful for you. If you did find it useful, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll link another video right here. See you in the next one. This is Drew from Smart Makers. See ya, ciao.